and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. I have got a request from one of you guys, a subscriber, asking me whether I would decorate the front of a shoe. A picture of the shoe right here. I'm going to tackle it. It's a challenge. So I've got my crinoline and what I want to do now is in fact, I should probably measure this just to let you know how much I'm using. This is some crin that I already had. So it looks like I've got just over three metres and it is six and a half inches in width. And what I'm going to do now is pull at the bottom of the crin carefully so that it will start ruching up. gathered a lot of the draw thread and I've been pulling that along and obviously you can see with the crin starting to take shape with the gathers. So over at the other end I also want to pull the draw thread. Give myself about eight inches there. And then what we're going to want to do is I'm just pulling the crin in like this. This has got a lot of frayed bits at the end. And then I'm just going to start wrapping the crin quite tight with the thread. And I'm going to create a couple of loops just to hold that all together and then we'll put some knots in it. So I've just tied off the draw thread on the other end of the crin as well, so it is the same as that one. So I've got to be honest with you, I got this, I can't remember how much I've said yesterday, but um, yeah, I got a message asking if I'd be able to show a follower how to, I'll include the clip here, do a kind of ruffle frill with some fabric onto the front of a shoe. I decided that the only thing that I could probably use is this crinoline material that I've used before in when I've done some hats. So you're gonna have to bear with me because I haven't done this before and I'm only doing it because it may well help the subscriber out <laughs> if I manage it. I have a couple of other materials that I could potentially use as a base to go on. I mean, this is my shoe, obviously not theirs, and I'm just using it as a kind of template really, but I thought that if I could sew the crinoline in a kind of ruffle shape onto a background, then that could potentially work. So the colour, this colour that I've got of the crin, I already had this, it's, it's quite pink, um, particularly once it's doubled up, obviously it gets a little bit more pink. And so... Actually, I was thinking about it last night. Well, you know, perhaps these fabric bases, you can see I've got one here, I cut this off. An old dress that I'd got from a charity shop, which I thought might be quite nice to pin onto and then sew. But as I said, last night I was thinking about it and I even potentially tried a little bit and I could see that it's going to be really difficult to hold in place on some floppy fabric. So I thought, okay, probably none of these are gonna work as a background. So let's just move these out of the way. And then we're back to using some of this cinema material that I've used 
in millinery before and I had these spare little pieces. I'm not sure whether the colours are potentially going to go but this is all about trying to get um, an experiment going, see whether it works. If you remember a while ago I did a video making this fascinator and I thought really that kind of held very well in place because of the structure of the cinema fascinator base. So I need to use probably some of this cinema. Yeah, I thought that maybe this base that I already had probably gonna be this color rather than that one. Oh, maybe, maybe not actually, let's have a look. Hmm, very difficult. Okay, oh yeah, I also had that little old strap from a charity shop again. This is to think about going on the front of the shoe with the ruffle effect of the crin. But again, it's not gonna be sturdy enough. So I think I'm gonna make an executive decision here. <laughs> And we'll take this off here. And I need to use a small amount of the cinema so that I can. I'm not going to stick this on, by the way. This is purely just an experiment. I'm using this as a template in my own shoe. But I'm thinking that I could use the sewing machine. And I'm thinking out loud, as I said, because I've not done this before. But I'm thinking that. This crin could be sewn onto the cinema and then sort of put over here. This is potentially what the subscriber can do. So let's try that. I'll tell you what, going, this, this is hard. I've got my laptop here, the picture up, which I keep referring to. I've got my cinema, which I've put on the bias and I've been stretching it a little bit and I've kind of just rolled the edges and I'm just gonna have a piece as if a piece was just over the top of the shoe, like that. I'm not gonna cut it off yet because I don't know how far this is gonna go. And this is so unruly, this crinoline. And I think I'm going to sew this down, just looking at the front of that looks like it's sort of double thickness. So I'm going to fold the crin over like that. Like it goes sort of just below half of the shoe, but right down to the front. Would that sit at the front? Maybe. Something like that. And then that. Oops. On here. Okay, I'm going to get one pin down first. I'm going to double that over. Either way, if this doesn't work out, I'm going to say I gave it a little shot, didn't I? <laughs> I'm just pinning that down. Oh, it's all over the place. Do you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the, I um, had quite a few subscriber requests, but do you remember the one that I did on? I'll link it here. Okay, so that's what we've got. And I'm gonna sew across here. I need to find some thread that's going to match. Let's have a look. That's probably be it, isn't it? Okay, yeah, that's too light. So let's fill the bobbin up. So I've just popped the pins that way so I can sew straight over the top with runner stitch on the machine. Let's go. Mm. 
So there's the first bit sewn down. Now I need to do the next layer. So I'm pinning the next row down and sort of curling it around from that side over to this side. So I pin down the second layer and I pop the pins in this way. And I've decided that although I sewed the first bit with the sewing machine, I want the second bit to be more rippled. So I'm going to hand stitch in between where the pins are. cannot tell you how unruly this fabric is. I'm getting there, but it is just jumping about everywhere. I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here and let me know if you've got any other ideas as I'll be really up for trying a new challenge out. I hope you like this video and I'll see you shortly in the next video Tuesday or Thursday. All right then bye!